Hello, today I'm going to show you how I use the new Ubiquiti Device Bridge and Device Bridge Pro Sector to indirectly beam networking over a thousand feet to enable smart gate control and a video doorbell at the entrance to a large property. The problem we had at this property is that there is no power or networking at the front gate. The gate is nearly 1,000 feet from the house and there is no line of sight from the gate to the house. Fortunately, the release of the new Ubiquiti Device Bridge Pro and Pro Sector provided a solution. While trees obstructed the sight line between the house and the gate, there is a utility building that has a line of sight to both the gate and the house that has power. The solution was to use these new device bridges to indirectly transmit from the house to the utility building to the front gate. I originally only purchased a couple of device bridges hoping that I could use one at the utility building as a child bridge off of a U6 long range at the house to provide signal to an additional U6 long range to be installed at the utility building. The plan was then to use the second device bridge in child mode off of the U6 long range in the utility building. I was able to get this to intermittently work, but it's very unstable. I was worried that I would need to purchase two additional Device Bridge Pros, but fortunately during that time, the Device Bridge sector was released. Unlike the Device Bridge Pros that can only connect point to point to one other device and must be aimed directly at that device, the Device Bridge Pro sector can connect up to 50 other bridges in its 90 degree field of coverage. The primary downside is that while the Device Bridge Pros support up to 867 megabits per second, the Pro Sector is limited to 400, but this wasn't a problem for my use case. My ultimate configuration ended up being a Device Bridge Pro at the house aimed directly towards a Device Bridge Pro Sector mounted on the utility building. The Device Bridge Pro Sector was mounted such that both the house and the gate were in its line of sight and within its 90 degree field of coverage. Lastly, I installed the second Device Bridge Pro on a fence post that I cemented into the ground at the front gate. I was initially unsure if this configuration would work as I needed the Device Bridge Pro Sector to operate as a parent device but without a LAN connection to its Ethernet port. While the Pro Sector can operate in child mode, in this mode it only supports connection to one device. For my install, I needed it to be connected to multiple bridges. To do this, I adopted the Device Bridge Pro Sector via direct Ethernet connection to the Unify console, adopted both Device Bridge Pros to it as child devices, and then relocated the Device Bridge Pro Sector to the utility building. Fortunately, despite no Ethernet connection, the Device Bridge Pro Sector worked perfectly and transmitted to and from the multiple child bridges as needed. I was even able to use the Device Bridge Pro Sector's sole Ethernet port to connect a PoE switch and Wi-Fi access point in the utility building to bring Wi-Fi to this location, which was an added benefit. With networking resolved, I set out to power the equipment at the gate. There was already a large battery in place to power the gate opener, so I installed a 12 volt PoE injector from Texas PoE. I also installed a low voltage cutoff to kill power to the networking equipment, so that if the battery ever drops too low, the ability to open or close the gate is never impacted. I installed a secondary solar panel as well, as the original one was insufficient to run the load from the extra equipment. With Wi-Fi networking and power finally available at the front gate, it is time to achieve the actual project goal, a video doorbell and smart gate control. To achieve this, I installed a Unify Access Door Hub Mini and G4 Doorbell Pro. The two work great together as Ubiquiti just updated the G4 Doorbell Pro to act as a fingerprint scanner and NFC card reader for the Door Hub Mini. The video from the G4 Doorbell can even be linked to the Door Hub Mini so that it is visible from within the Unify Access app. In summary, this project turned out great. The front gate now has 24-7 video surveillance with AI detection that is stored locally on site with an off-site backup and that does not require any form of internet, cellular, or subscription fee to operate. In addition to the smart gate control and video doorbell, there was enough video bandwidth and power remaining for the installation of additional Unified Protect cameras to provide even greater coverage at the entrance to the property. If you have any questions or need any advice, leave a comment and I'll try to answer for you. This has been Mr. Campbell House. Thanks for watching.